Stereochemistry is a really important idea when you do a Diels-Alder reaction because the Diels-Alder cycle addition tends to make a lot of new stereocenters. So you got to keep track of them and all, track of them all, and figure out which one wants to form which way. So here is a diene. And like most dienes, it has methox uh, alkoxy groups. These are electron donating groups, so you tend to have donating groups on your diene. And this is going to undergo a cycloaddition. And we are going to form a product. Let's number these one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's our cyclohexene product. And we're going to have these OCH3s. Now, carbons 1 and 4 are both stereocenters, and the real question is, what do we get? Do we get the two OCH3 groups Are they cis to each other or are they trans to one another? And let's draw this a different way. And as it turns out, trying to talk and think is really hard. There's trans. As it turns out, we get them cis. How, how are you supposed to know this? Okay, so when I draw the diene, I tend to think of the groups as having positions of, see how these hydrogens are both kind of pointing in towards the center of the diene? I consider these to both be in, and if those are both in, you can imagine what I label those, I consider these to be out. The two groups that are pointing out, they will end up being cis in the ring of the product. So both the methoxy groups are pointed out as a diene. They are both cis relative to each other in the product. At the same time, the, the two groups that are pointing in, those will also be cis. These two hydrogens are both in, and they are both drawn on the top of the ring. They are both cis. Things that are in and out relative to each other are going to be trans, uh, have a trans orientation. So that's stereochemistry for the diene. As you can imagine, we also have to worry about stereochemistry for our dienophile. So now let's make the diene, sim the diene simple, and let's give the dienophile something fancy. So we'll put cyano groups on our dienophile. Uh, dienophiles are typically electron drawing. They bear electron drawing groups. So when this reaction occurs, this cycloaddition, one, two, three, four, for time purposes, we'll drop the mechanism. One, two, three, four. Where are these cyano groups? Well, the cyano groups can be either. And just a little peek behind the curtain. My timer sits right here. So I, I never want to write on top of my timer, even though it doesn't show up in the video. So the cyano groups can either be cis or they can be trans. Which are they? Well, over here, if we look at our alkene, our dienophile on the left, the cyano groups are cis relative to one another. Therefore, when we look at our product, we favor the cis product. Is it possible to get the trans product? Of course it's possible to get the pro trans product, but we'd have to start with the trans dienophile to get the trans product. And this the stereochemistry of our starting materials, whether it's a dienophile or the diene, is preserved in the products because it's a one-step reaction. There are no carbocations or carbanions where you can get scrambling of stereochemistry. It all goes in one step. Therefore, you start with the cis dienophile, you will get the cis product.